let's talk about regular expressions in C Sharp and .NET. Now, regular expressions can get pretty complex. It could be simple as well. This is pattern matching. This allows us to find patterns in our strings. So we have a normal string. I'll show you some examples. We also added some numbers in paren at the end here just to show you, just to add that there to show you that we can get numbers as well. Well, what you do is you find a pattern. This at, like we mentioned earlier, this allows us to ignore the literals in here because we're putting in a backslash and using some characters that the regular expression object needs and we want our strings to ignore them. We want it to take it literally so then we can pass this information to our regular expression object which is going to pass and parse through this string and use it. So we want it to ignore that just so you know that. But we'll still use these here because this actually means to look for letters upper or lowercase and numbers in the string. And the plus sign means one or more times. So one or more characters in a row and an asterisk would be zero or more times. So find occurrences that occur zero or more times. We'll use one or more to force at least one character in there of a word. The or sign is also going to be here because we're going to then also look for anything that's not a letter or a number, everything else. So that's the capital W. And you can see that you're going to have a lot of different ways that you can grab different character types within your strings. And normally the lowercase is one way and then the uppercase is the opposite. Like with the S, if you put back slash S. And you can see that every character that isn't white space as opposed to lowercase s, which is look for white space characters. Tabs, spaces, etc. Now, these are the different things you can do. There are many that you can work with within the regular expressions. This can get pretty complex. You can write some really incredible logic here. I had a few classes in logic and some for some it might put them to sleep, might put some people to sleep. It depends on the, on the day of the week for me really, but I really enjoyed working with logic and it's an interesting thing to take a logic class or at least read a book on logic and to, whirl, to realize that logic actually is math. So when you take a look at it, you're going to see a lot of parens, groupings, and things like that. Find some examples on the internet using Google. You can find some good tutorials on working with that, advanced tutorials and some good books or video training on it. You can also do digits and anything that's not a digit, as you can see here. So in this example, we're going to find letters or numbers, upper or lowercase, that are going to be one or more together or we're going to find everything that's not a letter or a number and that's grouped together. might sound a little bit strange, but this is basically what it's going to pick with the W plus, this as well, and anything with the capital W plus is going to be like the space in between, the period, and we have parens, etc. And this again is going to be 321, this is a number, and then the end paren. So let's run it and just take a quick peek at it so you can see how it works. There you go. So it's picking the, that's one match. Space is another, quick is another, space, etc., etc., etc. Then it comes down here, this is punctuation. So this can also have the space in between. That's one match. And another match would be 321. And then since this isn't a letter or a number, this is going to match here on a separate line by itself. So these three in between here, you might say, well, this is a space. It's not a parenthesis or a punctuation mark, well, it's anything else that matches one or more times. So dog are letters. There's no numbers additionally there. That's okay. So then it finds three non-letters or non-numbers and matches that as well. So this is what it outputs. Let me modify that real quick to give you another idea of how it works. We'll get rid of this or because this is going to do both. We'll just do it this way with just letters and numbers. And there you see, all that punctuation is gone, the spaces are gone, they're not matched. So these are each matches that we could work with. And I'll show you how that rest works there as well. Additionally, we could put the capital. We'll debug that. All the white space and then it matches the punctuation, this line and that end paren because this comes after the numbers. So you get the idea. So we'll put that back together. And now we'll just do digits. And we'll just do it this way for now. And it matched only one. 
individually on each line because we didn't specify a plus or an asterisk. So when we put a plus, you can see that they're all going to be on one line there because we want one or more. So when they're grouped together, one or more, then we're going to get them there because of that. So di just different ways you can do that.